Hello all. Okay, it's a new week. I'm doing a week in life. I'm a dental hygienist and my goal for this week is to be productive as I possibly can and without burning myself out or feeling stressed out because I just need to get this part of my life on a roll. I don't know. <laughs> I just pulled the camera. I am feeling great. I just did a IV drip thing or whatever for vitamins because with my gastric bypass it's really hard to eat surprisingly not surprisingly i'm joking and the amount of pills i have to take a day is absolutely insane and there's so many rules and restrictions and i feel like i can't get all the pills in throughout the day especially on top of work regardless i'm trying to change that i'm trying to be more productive but still have time for myself i have said this before i'm a true like loner i like being by myself not all the time but i need my you know little bit of me time every day and so i sit in my car a lot <laughs> just to be alone and not be asked any questions if you're new here, you don't know me, my name is Diana. I'm a registered dental hygienist and a content creator. I make YouTube videos about my life behind the scenes, kind of just discussing everything, anything that I want to. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, check out my other videos and for everyone else, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because that helps my channel out so much. Thank you guys for the likes and the comments and all the support. So yeah, today is Monday. I am ready to be productive. <laughs> I am uh, meeting up with a friend. Um, I'm gonna just have some eggs. <laughs> I'll see. My first time eating out at a restaurant a month after my surgery. I'm not expecting it to, you know, work out very well for me. We'll see how it goes. I told her that I'm just gonna have to be eating really slow. I might just have to order or have her order like sides to her meals so that I'm not forced to order a whole meal. I also have, well, okay, this is where I got mad and was like, I need to be more productive um, and be on top of my life because I set up a interview with a temping agency, just make a bit of extra money, especially when my office is closed down for vacations because they do that quite often it's kind of frustrating i'm forcing myself to temp I'm also forcing myself to pick up on my youtube videos so that i can get monetized a lot sooner um i'm aiming to hit 100 videos by november and i have 20 no i have 18 more videos to go i know i'm like all over the place because i'm like Wah! i just got injected with a bunch of vitamins my ADHD medication. I made an appointment to, uh, with a temp agency and I was supposed to send in my resume but stupid me forgot so I made an appointment and I don't even really remember what time it is. I know roughly what time it should be at so I'm gonna try and see if I can change it to another day because I'm not prepared. I need to finish off my resume yada yada yada. <laughs> my new resume that has my new office and nothing special not as fancy as the first one that I made that had like a picture of myself blah 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 that was with brown hair I have blonde hair so now I can't use that photo or use that resume and I don't have like a nice photo to replace it I'm just rambling here but basically I don't want to temp but I do I want the experience of temping but I also don't want the backache and the pain and stuff like that that will come with temping so I have to get to the restaurant I'll get there a bit early which is good so then I can work on my resume <laughs> okay here we go I gotta go <laughs> all right it is 7:33. I am just getting ready for work. Finally, I'm alone in the house in the mornings <laughs> for now. But I just made myself some breakfast. And that's another way I'm being productive is waking up early. Um, but when I come home tonight, I want to prepare more like chicken for the week and stuff like that. And while I'm at work, I'm just going to research a bit and see what else I can eat. Because I'm kind of struggling with the surgery and like this third phase that I'm in which is like soft foods I'm not entirely sure what I can and can't eat it's all kind of like up in the air after this phase is when I can go ahead and eat almost everything um depending on how I feel so <sighs> yeah <laughs> I don't weigh myself every day I try not to weighed myself today 
So officially down 20 pounds since surgery. So it's been about almost exactly a month, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't have a scale of my own. I keep it in my parents' room. So when they're sleeping, it stops me from going in there and weighing myself every day. <laughs> I gotta get to work because school starting. It takes me like an extra 10 minutes to get to work. So I gotta head out, but I'll see you guys there. Okay, sorry for like the changing of the colors. This is one of the things that I don't like about um, new developed houses is you have really no say. So these lights are yellow. Out here, they're blue toned. It's really frustrating, um, but it's not annoying enough yet. <laughs> to go out and buy some new bulbs. I might eventually. It's just that they're, oops, sorry, it's, they're like specialty light bulbs, so I don't expect them to be cheap. <laughs> but yeah, if I find myself filming in here a lot more, then I will. So, it's the next day, um, and I don't start to work until 12, so it's 10.33. I just spent the morning kind of, this, this is better. <laughs> Just trying to do household chores because I'm struggling with that. When I come home from work, I'm tired. Um, Thursdays are my only days where I have the morning available. That's not including my days off. But usually I've been booking <laughs> Thursday mornings with like appointments and stuff like that. So this is my real first Thursday where I can actually do stuff. So I decided to not do a deep clean of anything. I don't have time for that. It's my sleep machine. I just cleaned all that stuff. Uh, as you saw me, I got this Amazon uh, scrubber majigger thingy. Um, I'll link it down below and it's amazing because I used to hate washing my bathtubs um, or showers before because it was just a pain in the butt letting that dry off. These shampoos are my mom's. I also need to get new shampoo for myself. These scrubbing mitts are amazing. Got this from Amazon as well. It's very messy. I'm messy. I don't care. <laughs> and then yeah, my countertop is also a mess too. But just washing some makeup brushes. A very dirty mirror I have to clean. And then I also got this from Amazon as well to hold all my stuff. So it's good enough for now. Like I've mentioned so many times before, I have ADHD and so if I don't see it, I don't use it. It's something like my hair wand or whatever that I'll put underneath. But very rarely will I ever actually open the cabinets underneath. Um, so I kind of, unfortunately, it's not aesthetically pleasing me to have everything out. One day I'll figure out a nice way to do it, but it's not my place. I don't own it. I can't do major changes. <laughs> and then I also did some laundry. And then this is just recycling and garbage. My room is gonna have to stay messy for a little bit. Sorry, there's construction. Yeah, clothes are on the bed. Cause I was looking for my scrubs <laughs> and then realized I didn't wash them. <laughs> So I had to pull out some of my not so favorite pants and then I'm just gonna wear my like one of my lab coat thingies these that I used to wear all the time now that it's getting colder. I'll just get them from Walmart. Because I'm losing weight so quickly I don't want to invest in any scrubs 
expensive scrubs at the moment but when i do i will let you know what i go with and what i like hmm. a new video just came out as well <laughs> i posted a second video not on my usual days so it's not doing that well i'm gonna turn off the fan which is totally fine it's just how i do my makeup today i decided to do some pigtails i normally don't <laughs> and the elastic bands have broken about three times already um but yeah go check it out if you want to know what exactly i put on my face and how i do my makeup um i also just talk a little bit about money and what i've been doing to further educate myself in terms of trying to hit my goal of a hundred thousand dollars another day another productive day even if i don't do anything later tonight like if i just throw all this stuff in my closet tonight at least i got the bathroom clean because that was bothering me for a few days now if you're thinking about going into dental hygiene or our dental hygiene as you guys um might want to know or probably already know just how how do i word this being productive in a week is not so much as you might know being productive is not necessarily work related is what i'm trying to say it's just trying to balance out the rest of your life so at least that's what it means to me being productive um with a dental hygiene career and also just trying to um you know work on my youtube and stuff like that i'm trying to treat it like another job but i've said it before in the past youtube will be the first to kind of take a back seat at the moment if i'm feeling overwhelmed just because dental hygiene is what pays my bills <laughs> youtube does not maybe one day i'll switch where youtube is more it's a priority i don't want to say it's not a priority but when it's more when i'm more i don't know i am pretty invested in it it could be more anyway whatever i just went on a ramble <laughs> i gotta go i gotta go pick up my medication and then finishing my video off from this week of being productive bad news is I have a little bit of a cold so I wasn't as productive as I wanted to be but I did get things done while also working and fully enjoying my Sunday off so I'm just gonna leave the video here thanks so much for watching till the very end and I'll see you guys next time Bye.